Hello, I'm uh, Dr. Sri Chandana. I'm a medical oncologist uh, at uh, West Michigan Cancer Center in Kalamazoo, Michigan. I'm the co-chair of the uh, Cancer Control Coalition of Southwest Michigan. Our coalition received uh, 2013 Spirit of Collaboration Award through the Michigan Cancer Consortium for the work we have done in the past year uh, to increase the uh, awareness of the colon cancer in our community and also to provide uh, colon cancer screening for population uh, 50 and older in our community. And we, we couldn't have done this work without the help of our community partners. Our, we, have, we collaborated with the 20 other organizations in our community. They include the West Michigan Cancer Center, where I practice, uh, the Borges Medical Center, Bronson Methodist Hospital, Bronson Battle Creek Health System, the two uh, gastroenterology practices in Kalamazoo, Kalamazoo Colorectal Cancer Awareness Network, and Western Michigan University School of Medicine. During the year of 2013 was the second year that the residents of Kalamazoo and um, Calhoun County were the recipients of the Blue Ribbon Days program. This is where we provided 95 residents free colonoscopies. Of those residents, 33% um, that were screened were found to have um, polyps, 26% were found to have precancerous, and there was only one individual that had a diagnosis of colon cancer. Collaborating with the Kalamazoo Coalition has been beneficial since we're able to share ideas and techniques and have helped increase success with this program. Through a grant through the Michigan Department of Community Health and the CDC, we've been able to provide patient navigation. Now patient navigation is a way for us to create a relationship with the patients and give them a one-on-one -on -one contact for questions, concerns, and it also holds them accountable because implementing this practice um, has changed our outcome. It has helped uh, us be able to contact the, the doctors and ask for them to do it again this year um, because you know, we're having such a good response. It helps with the staffing of, of people and with the facilities. Once a patient has received a free Blue Ribbon Day colonoscopy, they need to be followed. That can range anywhere from 10-year repeat colonoscopy. That's what we're hoping for. We're hoping somebody's been screened, they're healthy, and they don't need another colonoscopy for 10 years. Um, some patients may have cancer. They may have other gastroenterology diseases. During the colonoscopy, the physician will take a biopsy if appropriate. That's sent to a pathologist who counsels with our physician about disease state. If it's cancer, the cancer is staged and sent to the appropriate cancer specialist. If it's another uh, gastroenterology disease, our physicians uh, assess that disease state and manage it with the patients. Uh, long story short, a patient can be followed up anywhere from two days to 10 years after the colonoscopy. And regardless of their insurance uh, or economic status, the physicians who do these uh, free colonoscopies follow the patients uh, through the remainder of their life. We were very fortunate to use grant money to create a nine and a half minute um, educational video to encourage all residents that colon cancer screening is what you really need to do. My husband and I were very fortunate and we participated in the video and um, other folks that you might recognize included the mayor of Kalamazoo. Um, the video has a very simple message and it is really encouraging people to get screened today. Um, the video has been uploaded to YouTube and it is used throughout the community at health fairs and other presentations. March 8th, we brought in Henry Lynch as our keynote speaker and on Friday's event that was geared towards the medical community. Now we did have other guest speakers as well and this was geared towards colon cancer identifying patient at patients at risk. Um, other topics that we had included um, family history as a tool for cancer prevention and control, identification of persons at genetic risk of colon cancer, and increasing colon cancer screening rates. Dr. Lynch discussed an update of Lynch syndrome and the quest for reducing its morbidity and mortality. Saturday's event was geared towards the general public. Dr. Lynch was again our keynote speaker, and the title of that event was Colon Cancer, Are You at Risk? We did have other speakers on that day as well. 
and um, the schedule of events included your family health history and your risk for colon cancer, how are they related, the importance of getting screened for colon cancer, living healthy, learn how to eat right and exercise to prevent colon cancer, and then Dr. Lynch uh, talked about a um, similar topic as what he did at the uh, Friday events, which is an update of Lynch syndrome, although he did gear his discussion towards the public. Well, we also made provider education uh, a priority this year. Um, we created colorectal screening education kits that we shipped to 240 primary care physicians here in Southwest Michigan. Um, each kit contained a letter to the practice manager and to the physicians. Um, it also included brochures and a poster that were hung up um, for like either in their office or in each patient room. I know when I went to my family physician, I saw the brochure sitting there and I thought that was really cool that, you know, they had them sitting out there um, with our logos on it. And, you know, it was just, it was just a good piece to see uh, that they were backing our program up. This year, during the month of March, we distributed 13,000 pharmacy insert bags in Calhoun County and Kalamazoo County with a message to get screened for colon cancer. We also worked with several of our large and medium-sized employers, again in Calhoun and Kalamazoo County, uh, to distribute information uh, for health and wellness to the employees there. Some of those companies included Stryker, Kellogg, Duncan Aviation, and the Kalamazoo Public School District. As a co-chair of our organization, I'm proud to say that we worked very hard and also in a collaborative manner to achieve towards a common goal. We'll continue to learn through our, this experience and we are working towards a common goal of uh, greater good in our community. We hope to continue the excellent work in the future.